When you are dividing with decimals, you need to be able to get the decimal on the other side. So you need to move this over once, but if you move this over once, you have to do the same thing with your divisor. So you would do four into eight, which goes in two times. Two times four is eight, and you subtract that. That gives you zero. Then you're gonna bring down this one. Four goes into one zero times. And now your decimal goes here because you moved it over the one time. Zero times four is zero. And then you bring down the two. And then four goes into 12 three times. Three times four is 12, and then you will have a zero remainder.